So now I'm going to print up a B. Um, so I'm going to use Hawthorne Printmakers Extra Dense Black for this one. Get a little bit out of the pot. Pop it on here. This is my slab where I roll out the ink. Um, you must always work the ink as it's quite stiff when it comes out of the pot and it needs to be warmed up so that the ink flows really well. So give it a bit of a going over with this spatula. There we go. I should probably do for now. I'm going to use this sprayer which is a, again a Hawthorne printmaker's, it's a student one and um, it's the smaller one that they do. It's nice and weighty though. So here we go, I'll just put some on there. Now what I'm doing here is I'm rolling the ink to get a nice coverage over the roller the brain. Um, it's important that the whole of the spray is covered and that you're not just going backwards and forwards like this because then you're only covering one bit. You need to go all the way around. So if you do it in one direction, once you get to a stage where you can hear the ink is getting thinner, yeah, do it like that. And then once you get to the point where you want it to be completely covered, do it like that. And then we get the plate. And now I'm going to cover the plate with the ink. Making sure that all the design is covered and I haven't missed any bits. Um, we're going to use this really nice Lockter paper. Um, it's got fibres in it which you can see in the printing process. So, print it that way around. There we go. I'm just going to smooth it down with my hand first and then I'm going to use the sparring. Now the paper is actually quite thin. If you're using really thin paper you want to be careful with the barren that you don't rub the paper and damage it. So sometimes what I do is I put on top a piece of paper to stop that from happening. I'm not going to do that today because I'm just going to press this down and then I'm going to use a metal spoon which is really great just to get in all those edges so you can just rub it over the design rub 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 and because this is really thin paper I can actually see the design through the paper if we were using a thicker paper then you wouldn't be able to see the design you'd maybe see the indentations but you wouldn't be able to see the design coming through and you would need to use a lot more force because it's all about the ratio of force to get that ink from your plate onto your piece of paper. Right, I think we're ready. This is the exciting bit. Just peel it back to reveal the finished design.